Hello, my wonderful people of the internet, and welcome to this, probably one of my most requested videos. Now, one thing during my streams that a lot of people tend to ask me is, Rage, how do you randomize Pokemon ROMs? So, what I'm going to do, guys, is today I am going to show you just how to do that. So, to start things off, obviously, you do need a ROM file for the game that you want to play. Now, just bear in mind, guys, that um, the only legal way to actually download a ROM is if you own the original thing that you are downloading. Hence, the Pokemon games that I play, I own the original cartridges still. Um, so, it's still okay for me to do it. However, if you do not own them, it's technically classed as illegal. So, I would not recommend doing it if... You do not own them but anyway <clears throat> without further ado let's take it away so first of all you're going to need to get the rom file and to do that i use a little website called mu paradise now it's www.muparadise.me i will leave a link in the description below um just so you guys know where it is now when you get here obviously you open the type right corner you go here and it's kind of can take you through the way um generally for roms you know if you want handheld say for pokemon Got your Game Boy Advance ROMs, your Nintendo ROMs. Let, let's go Game Boy Advance, just so we can kind of see what's there. Um, then from there, guys, obviously you look for the ROM file that you need. Um, and say, for example, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do it with Pokemon Emerald, what we've been playing lately, just so you guys can see. Um, so we scroll down the list, find the ROM we want. Um, as you can see, Pokemon Emerald, there's the one we download. So you click that, you go through the links, there's a download link in there and then that will download the ROM file. Then once you've got your ROM file, guys, what you need to do is you need to go to a site called Universal Pokemon Game Randomizer. Now, I will leave a, a link for this also down below so you guys can see it. Um, <clears throat> then what you need to do is on your PC, you need to download a program. And obviously, it'll tell you kind of the different versions. So what you need to do is you need to click, you need to download that. And then that will download a little program for you to use. Um, personally, I use the executable jar one um, rather than the exe file. I just find it a lot more reliable. Um, but it's kind of, it's one of those things just kind of play around with and you guys will see that yourselves. Um, then from there, what you need to do is you need to obviously know where your ROM file is on your PC. Um, and then you need to open up this little program. Hang on, let me just get it up there, guys. Oh, that's the wrong one. We need this one. So from here, what you need to do, this is the program. This is the Universal Pokemon Randomizer. So what you need to do is you need to open up the ROM file. So if you look for where um, your ROM file is saved, um, I'm going to pull up the Pokemon Emerald file that we used before, guys. So this is just a general Pokemon Emerald file, and it will load it up. Now here you get lots of options. Um, I tend to put no game breaking moves on um, to try and avoid the likes of Dragon Rage early and things like that. And then from here, you, this is where you can like change the base stats of Pokemon, um, the Pokemon typing. So example, you could get a Dragon type Magikarp if you completely randomize them. And Pokemon evolutions. Now this is something we've been doing lately, um, where I've been randomizing the evolutions <coughs> and. So you can limit to three stages, same typing, or you can just have it completely randomized where it's like this. Now, force change, I've never used that one. Um, but yeah, that's kind of that's kind of how you do that. Over here, you've got change impossible evolutions, which makes it so you can kind of do trade evolutions um, just by leveling up and things like that. Now, over here, make evolutions easier. I've never used this, but you can kind of you can make it so every Pokemon is fully evolved by, say, level 40, um, which is always good. Things up here as well, update base stats, I find good because it kind of, it updates the stats to kind of more current gens rather than the original gen you were playing. Um, sometimes I'll use it. And you can also randomize Pokemon abilities. Now, you do have little tabs here as well, which kind of tell you everything that you're doing. So what you can do is you can also randomize the start of Pokemon. You can random just some basic Pokemon with two evolutions. You can randomize them completely. You can even pick what starters you want to. And you can also randomize what items they're holding. Um, same for static Pokemon. You can completely randomize them <coughs> in game trades. You can randomize all of those as well. You can even randomize the nicknames, what the original trainer was, the IVs, the items. And you can also randomize the moves. Any Pokemon moves can be completely randomized. I tend not to do this. 
Um, one of the important things though is that you can kind of update the move set to kind of Gen Six. So, like for example, the um, the attack value of tackle changed and things like that, and the PP and move has. You can do that. Now trainers, <clears throat> um, you can also fight like random trainers. So you can randomize all of their Pokemon. You can choose to have your rival carry at the start of Pokemon all the way through the game. You can even randomize the names and everything like that. You can also make it so that when you get to a certain point, um, the Pokemon, say, I don't know, I generally do it for level 50 now, just to make it a bit better. Um, you can have like level 30 where all trainers you fight have to have evolved Pokemon. Um, so it'll randomize just into evolved Pokemon. So let's leave it there for now. Um, no, just to kind of show you guys, let's, let's randomize pretty much everything. Let's randomize the base stats, let's randomize the types. Um, right, wild Pokemon. Now, you can also do that for the random Pokemon. I tend to use random and catch them all mode. And it just means you get more of a variety of what's available in the Pokedex. You can also randomize TMs and HMs. So, what, so for example, um, say TM01 was, I know, Thunderbolt. I know it's not, but say it was, then if you randomize it, like TM01 could be something like Flamethrower. Um, but I, I tend not to do that. Um, I did use full HM compatibility in my last playthrough, but that's there if you ever want to use it. And the move tutors can also teach random moves. Anything you want to do, you can even make all TMs compatible as well with any Pokemon. Now, field items, this is something I do. I tend to randomize the field items so that we can peer like anything anywhere, but I do turn off, I do ban bad items because some things like, I don't know, like mail is just absolutely useless to have. So I kind of don't see the point. Um, then you can also, you know, fastest text, run, running shoes indoors. Now this does change for each game. Just remember if you are randomizing a Gen 3 game like Emerald or Fire Red, um, give National Dex a start is important. Otherwise you won't be able to evolve Pokemon outside of the current Pokedex. Um, but yeah, you can do all sorts of things like this. You can randomize the catching tutorial. Then when you're done, if you go to randomize and save, now you can do this anywhere, but the way I tend to do it is I go and find um, where the original file was. You give it a file name. Um, I know you can't see this at the minute just because of the way I'm set up. Uh, so here we go, Pokemon Emerald, take two we'll call it. Okay, then you save that file and it will save it. Then, oh, you can't see this, but what it asks you, it asks you there if you want to create a log file, um, which means you can say, see everything that it's randomized if you want to look at it. Um, I personally choose not to, um, obviously, because I don't think it's as fun if you do look at it. But yeah, once you've gone through that, you're all saved and your file is randomized and ready to go. So all you need to do next, guys, is you need to load your emulator. <clears throat> okay, let me just load mine up. Up here, and Pokemon Take Two, right there. This is the one we've just made. Now, let me just add this in, guys. Because I forgot to do it because I'm a silly goose. out for you just so you can kind of see what's going on and there we go so this is the wrong we have just created guys there so we lost it <laughs> oh man this isn't going well is it anyway carry on so as you guys will see pretty soon i'm just going to speed through this just so you guys can see Let's call ourselves B. Why not? Ba 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 ba. I guess we're in a moving truck. <laughs> I can't believe we have to do all this. Oh, that's right, so we have to set the clock. Things you try to do, guys, when you're uh, setting a tutorial. <laughs> I just kind of want to show you like how it randomizes um, to a play in the game. Yes, the bad for TV. You guys have seen this all before in my playthrough. Come on, then we can go see May. Things you have to do to show up both the way.
Okay, now I believe we can go. I just kind of want to show you guys how it randomizes. And as you know, we did change a few extra things there when we started this. Yes, we'll go see what's happening. Okay, into the back for a phone call. So, see here, it's randomized so we could have had, we could have had Persian, we could have had Shuffer, and we could have had this man. So, just for the purpose of this, I'm going to pick Persian. But I kind of wanted to show you. Oh, I didn't randomize the moves, did I? Silly rage. Sure, we randomized the typing, didn't we? There we go. See there, we've got a fire type Persian. <laughs> and, you know, it can just play with all of these little things and kind of. It can really add to the game. Um, but I know a lot of you guys know about how a randomizer works, but I just thought it'd be nice to kind of show you guys how I do it. And hopefully, hopefully, this video has helped you so you, you can do it yourselves, guys. But yes, there we go. That is all there is to it, guys. So, hopefully you found this video very useful, guys. Um, if you did, then let me know. But of course, guys, until next time, please remember, if you have enjoyed this video today, please hit that thumbs up button. And of course, if you'd like to stay up to date with all the latest content on the channel, including getting notifications when I go live, then hit that subscribe button. And if you'd like to let me know anything about this video, any previous videos, or in fact, anything you might like to see on the channel in the future, then please leave a comment down below. Thank you very much for watching, and bye!